What's up Minecrafters, welcome back to Polymars. In this video, I'm going to explain how I made a Minecraft skin grabbing tool in Unity using the Minotaur API. You can input any Minecraft username and it will display the skin of that user on a player model that I made in Blender. This allows you to view any Minecraft skin in 3D. This isn't anything revolutionary, there are a lot of programs that already do this, but something like this can be used in interesting ways in Unity. You can make an animation, for example, that lets viewers enter their Minecraft username and have their Minecraft character be in the animation, or you can make a game that lets you play as any Minecraft skin. The process I followed to make this tool can be divided into three steps. I needed to create a Minecraft character model that has proper texture mapping for Minecraft skins, allow the input of a Minecraft username and then download the skin of the user using the Minotaur API, and apply the skin as a texture to the model I created. So the first thing I had to do was make the Minecraft character model. I have no experience at all with 3D modeling and find Blender to be pretty intimidating, but I found a great tutorial series by Touched by Kai, and after skimming through the first two parts and looking up what the hotkeys were for a lot of different functions, I finally had a character model with proper texture mapping for Minecraft skins. The links to these tutorials will be in the description, but if you're scared of Blender like I am, feel free to use the models I created, which are available in the project's GitHub repository. So, I exported my character as an FBX and imported it into Unity, then I started working on the script that lets you actually input a username and have that user's skin be mapped to the character model. The way it works is that there is an input field where you can input a username, and once you press the refresh button next to the input field, a coroutine is started that requests the skin of the user from Minotaur's API. It waits for the skin to be downloaded, and if it fails, the function is stopped, and I log an error message, but if it works, I store the download texture in a texture 2D named skin. I change the texture's filter mode to point so that the texture isn't blurry. Then, since the character model is made up of 6 meshes, I run a for loop that sets the texture of each mesh's material to the new skin. I tested out the project with a few random usernames and thought that everything was working smoothly, but then I tried some other skins and noticed that they were being displayed incorrectly. I had no idea what could be causing this issue, so I took a look at one of the skins that wasn't working and found that it was in a completely different format to the skin format that my model had texture mapping for. I'm not very educated in Minecraft, so I didn't know this, but apparently all skins after version 1.8 use a new, more detailed format that is 64 by 64 pixels instead of 64 by 32. So right now my tool was only working with skins created prior to version 1.8 of Minecraft. To fix this, all I had to do is create another character model in Blender that has proper texture mapping for the new 64x64 skins, and then based on the height of the skin downloaded from Minotaur, use either the 64x32 model or the 64x64 model. So I started mapping the new skin format to my player model in Blender, and everything was going fine until I realized the arms weren't lining up with the textures. This is when I realized that apparently some Minecraft skins have skinny arms, so now I had yet another problem I needed to address. I ended up creating three player models. One that has texture mapping for the old 64x32 skins, one that has texture mapping for the new 64x64 skins with normal sized arms, and one with arms that are 25% smaller and with texture mapping for the 64x64 skins with skinny arms. Back in Unity, I had to create a way of telling which type of skin each downloaded texture is. First, I checked the height of the texture. If it's 64 pixels, I then check the alpha value or transparency of the pixel at 50, 44, which is right here. This pixel is always transparent on textures for skins with slim arms, and as far as I know, it cannot be transparent on skins with regular sized arms. So if this pixel is fully transparent with an alpha value of 0, then I know that it is a skin with skinny arms, so I set the texture of the material of each slim arm mesh to the downloaded skin, and then disable the other two models while enabling the skinny arm model. And if that pixel is not transparent, then I know that it is a 64x64 skin with regular sized arms, so I do the same thing but with the 64x64 regular arms model. And if the texture does not have a height of 64, then I know that it's a 64x32 skin, so I do the same thing with the 64x32 model. And now, as you can see, every username I try is displayed properly, and I really hope there aren't any other weird exceptions. 
After that, I added a download button that opens a link on Minotaur's website of the last displayed skin and added the ability to rotate the character model using the arrow keys. I also changed the background to a Minecrafty shade of blue. If you want to check out this project, the link to its GitHub repository will be in the description. And as always, comment any feedback or suggestions you might have for future videos, and consider subscribing if you liked this one. I hope you did like it, because although Minecraft skins are a lot more complex than I initially thought, I had a lot of fun making this tool and got a lot of 3D modeling practice from it. That's all, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.